In math, physics, and chemistry, you sometimes need to know your right from your left. In physics, this is called parity, and we use the right-hand rule to distinguish it. In mathematics, we refer to right-handed coordinate systems. And in chemistry, we talk about enantiomers, mirror image molecules. I have three things that are perpendicular to each other, say red, green, blue. I chose that because everybody remembers it in that order, and order matters. The question is, if this is red and this is green, is blue sticking out towards us or going back? For right-handed, it's sticking out towards us. A right-handed coordinate system has x and y in their standard positions, and z points out towards us. Positive x, positive y, positive z. That's a right-handed coordinate system. When physics was first developed, this was an arbitrary choice, but now it's kind of hardwired into all of our formulas. You need to know which way you're talking about. When you have three vectors, a cross b equals c, in that order, it's like red, green, blue. Whichever way the first vector is pointing, suppose I'm doing v cross b, and v is this way, uh, that'll be my thumb, and b, the magnetic field, is that way. Well, if the first vector is red and the second is green, the third vector is blue sticking out. It's that way. v, b, force. And that's one of the many versions of the right-hand rule. The world record holder for the most effort spent trying to convey one bit of information, right? Is it out or is it in? Torque is R cross F, basically position from the axis cross the force. In math, we talk about A cross B equals C, X cross Y equals Z in coordinates, red, green, blue in that order. In spherical coordinates, R hat cross theta hat is phi hat.